One very nice feature about Alexicom is that it allows you to create your own pages very easily. All you have to do is to come back to this main page and click on edit right here. And after that, you will be able to uh, see this plus button and click on uh, this plus button. Then it will ask you, okay, so uh, to this new page that you want to create, um, uh, give it a name. Okay, and how many rows you want to have, uh, like the, the rows of pictures and how many columns you want, and the picture width. Okay, and um, now in this example right here, um, uh, what I want you to do uh, when you create your own pages is that you want to use your first name, you know, as your your name, and so that I know, you know, who has created that page, and uh, give it a subject. Okay, so if I'm creating a breakfast page, uh, I may just call it, you know, Peter's breakfast, and how many rows and how many uh, columns. Okay, this is up to you. Now. For for this uh, uh, width right here, you may just need to play with the numbers. You can go from fifty pixels to six hundred pixels, and uh, I have tried uh, like for this size, two rows and three columns. Uh, 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 two fifty is about right. Okay, if you find that the the uh, the rows are too 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 tall and you know, too high, take up too much space. You may come come back here, create another one. You know, use a, a smaller number. If um, it is taking up too little space, you know, you may need to increase this, and so that it it takes up uh, you know, just the right amount of space uh, on the iPad. So if you have uh, decided that, that the right size, you know, it should take up the en entire iPad screen like like this one. Okay, this one is just right. And um, so when you click on an edit button, like one of these, it, um, this menu will show up. Okay, it allows you to take picture right there using your iPad. Or if you have already selected, a, 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 taken a bunch of pictures, you can actually come in and select the save image, and then give it a name. And then you know when student click on that uh, icon, you know what you want uh, that icon to speak. You know you can type the word right here, and. Um, this is a very nice feature, but because if you just type the name, type type the word here, okay, it will uh, just uh, the the computer will will say the, uh, the the word for you. But you can also record your own voice, okay? You can record your own voice. Imagine, you know, if you are doing this for your own child or your own students, instead of hearing the computer voice, it will be you know the student will be able to hear your voice, and so this is very nice. Now, this link button allows you to uh, link to different pages. So, for example, um, if you have one page that is uh, comprises all action words, and then uh, on a separate page it has all the items that you want the students to select, you can have those action words linked to the, the items on the next page. And so, it doesn't have to be just the students just send selecting items on one page. They can select items between multiple pages, and so this is a very nice button, uh, nice uh, feature. And so when you are done, you just you can just click on this update button, and the picture that you have taken will show up right here, and and will work just right there. And then when you are done, you can just. Uh, it is on automatically safe, and then you can just go back to Alex Com pages, and your page will show up as one of the pages. And um, now, one thing that you also need to notice is that sometimes when you click on this editing mode, it may uh, uh, it may show up like this. Okay, this instead of showing the edit. Uh, uh, buttons, you know, like like right here, it will be showing up like this, and that is because uh, you have uh, clicked the the cell edit mode, you know, by by mistake. Okay, so uh, you just have to click on this uh, cell edit mode uh, button again. It will come back to here, and it will uh, be showing the the show hide edit mode, you know, instead. And this is for you to. Uh, uh, create some of the cells and then uh, hide them. You know, so for example, if you are just still in the process of um, making this, you don't want students to be able to see them or uh, click on them. You may, you know, uh, click select theme or hide, and so students won't be able to see it. Okay.